Hi everybody. Today we're doing a 6.7 Cummins head. This is going to be a disassemble, resurface and put back together. This is for a customer that needs it rather quickly. So let's get into it. These valves are held in by a uh, by the taper on these little valve keepers, and it does an amazing job of holding them in there. And it gets tight. If you take a little socket or a piston pin or something, and just tap the retainer. It just breaks that breaks that seal they seem to make. Just have a quick feel at the valve guides while we're here. Just wiggle them back and forth. Just there's 24 of them, so just in case you have one that's way worse than the others. Good time to find out is now. Yeah, those are good. Ready for the resurfacer. So now we've got it in here in this resurfacer. So now we've got to level it. Oh, and the level's telling me this end is high, about five thousandths of an inch. So we'll just use grass shim stock. You know, you can lift this thing off a table when you lift it and you move it around. But you get it on here and when you have to lift just the corner of it, five thousandths of an inch to get that shim stock under there, or a little bit. It's like surprisingly heavy. Incredibly heavy. There we go. You can hear it just barely cutting. I've zeroed my digital vernier here so I know that when that's at zero, that cutter is just touching the head. So now before I start it, I go back to zero and then feed in the amount that I want to take off. There. So now the cutter 
will be just touching the head, just like the last pass that we did. So I want to take two thousandths of an inch off. So I'll go down past it and then back up to two. There we go. Decimal zero zero two. It's telling me that the head is actually twisted like that. You wouldn't think that a big cylinder, a big chunk of cast iron like this would actually twist. You do this, it would actually twist. <clears throat> that almost did it. Just a little bit of a head gasket mark there and a little bit here. Another two thousandths of an inch and you'll be good. Huh. Perfect. little stick is a meter stick. Remember when you were in high school or when you were in elementary school even, the teacher probably hit the desk when you were sleeping with their meter stick. It's a meter stick with some valves or some holes drilled in it so I can keep valves in order. They're incredibly hard to find. I tried making sticks out of three quarter inch plywood or plywood or anything but the nothing works as good as these. Sometimes you get them at the Oh, at the home improvement store, Home Depot or Home Hardware. Uh, sometimes they have wooden ones and they act, they work the best out of all of them. Okay, so now we've uh, taken it apart. We've machined the head surface flat. A quick hot tank to get all the shavings out of it and off of it. And now, clean the valves. And... Uh, now we're putting it back together. So, a little bit of oil. Exhaust. Intake.
24 valves, four valves per cylinder, two keepers per valve, 48. So now the last thing we do, is take a soft face hammer and you want to hit, hit just the end of the valve. Mimics the action when, of what happens when the uh, engine starts. And if you haven't got one of those keepers in, quite proper, it'll come out of there. This is when you want to know, not when the guy starts the engine. So there we have it. Six cylinder Cummins head. Disassemble, resurface. Clean the valves. Clean the head, assemble again, ready to go to the customer. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.